Alaska Day, Tree Mugs here. We're talking about the slip knot. One of the simplest, most valuable knots out there. Now, there are two main situations where I use the slip knot. Number one is for sending a saw up to a climber, and number two is on a rigging line to make sure that you don't lose the end of your rope through a block. Uh, so it's the same knot, but in the former, the bite comes from above, and in the latter, the bite comes from below. So I'm going to show you how to tie that in both both cases. So I'm going to send a I want to send a saw up to a climber. This is his climbing line hanging down to the ground. All I'm going to do is I'm going to twist a loop, and I'm going to pull the bite from above. I'm going to reach up through, grab it, and there's my bite. And now I take my saw lanyard, clip it on, climber pulls that up to himself, unclips the saw lanyard, and then all he has to do is pull, pops right out. So that's the first case. And the second case, if this was a rigging line and there's a block up top and I'm pulling this back up, I want to make sure that this doesn't slip through the block and uh, lose the end of our rope. So what I do, I'm going to tie the same knot, twist the loop, but this time the bite is going to come from below. So I'm going to reach down through, grab it, and pull. And this way, when it gets up top, when it hits the block, it just jams. It can't pull through the block. And then to release it, all I do is pull from below and pops out. So, the slip knot. Simple, highly valuable, quick to tie, quick to untie. Learn it, use it.